Good morning all. I am Poonam Sopnil Jadha, working as assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSNS, IOIT Pune. Today we are going to see the topic Polymorphism of Java Programming. Polymorphism in Java is a concept by which we can perform a single action in different ways. Polymorphism is derived from two Greek words, poly and morphs. The word poly means many and morphs means forms. So polymorphism means many forms. There are two types of polymorphism in Java, compile time polymorphism and run time polymorphism. We can perform polymorphism in Java by method overloading and method overriding. Compile time polymorphism. In compile time polymorphism, method declaration gets binded to its body at the time of compilation based on the parameters and arguments is called as the compile time polymorphism. Method overloading is example of compile time polymorphism. Now, here is an example of compile time polymorphism. Here, a class cal is written which is having some method in it having the parameter int a int b. Also, another method with the same name sum is there having the parameters different that is double c and double d. When we create the object of the class and through the object of the class, we call the method sum and give the parameter integer parameters that time that method would be called and when we give uh, the parameters as uh, double the method having the double as a parameter would be called so we get the result as 13 1 and the second result as 8.399 Runtime polymorphism when method declaration gets pointed to its definition at the time of execution based on the object or instance is called runtime polymorphism. Method overriding is example of runtime polymorphism. It is also called as the late binding. When the method body is changed in subclass after inheritance is known as method overriding. Points to remember always occur between two classes and inheritance is must for overriding. Now runtime polymorphism. Here a class is written as base class. A method is written display which tells us a statement is written inside it as presently in base class. Now a class derived class which extends the base class and the same method display is written which has the statement as presently in the derived class. When we create the instance of the derived class um, as derived class D is equal to new derived class and then we call the method D dot display that time we get the output as presently in derived class. Now base class b equal to new place class b dot display we get the output as presently in base class method overloading declaring multiple methods static or non-static in a same class with the same name but having different parameters or arguments this concept is known as method overloading with the help of method overloading we can declare multiple methods of same name and can use this method of same to perform different operations. Method overloading is also known as the compile time polymorphism. Now here, class area, we have the method cal which is taking the in parameters as int l int b. Again we have the uh, method as cal which is taking the input as int l int b int h when we create the object of the class area as a, when we call a dot cal and give two parameters, so that method would be called. And when we give a dot cal and three parameters, 
that method which is having the three parameters would be called so we get the answer as one first answer as 27 area and second as 140 method overriding when one class acquires the property of another class that is when a subclass acquires the methods of superclass and in subclass it changes its implementation that is definition of method body according to the subclass specification in method overriding method declaration is same but definition or the body is different now consider the example here class scooter method is their performance and the statement is when scooter is running now class activa extends the class scooter performance is the method and here activa is running smoothly is written when we create the object of activa class a a dot performance so we will uh, get the output as activa is running smoothly super keyword the super keyword refers to super class objects it is used to call super class methods or it is used to call the members of super class the most common use of super keyword is to eliminate the confusion between super classes and sub classes that have methods with the same name this keyword the this keyword refers to remember member of current class in which it is written consider the example here class scooter the variable speed is there which is having value 120 now class activa extends scooter and here the value of the speed is 180 now display method is there which shows the maximum speed as super dot speed when we create the object of activa and we write a dot test that time the method which is written in the activa class that is this is executed and here super dot speed is written super is the uh, parent class that is the scooter so it will display the value maximum speed as 120 so in this way we have studied the concept of polymorphism we have studied the types of polymorphism and seen its examples thank you